Uh, so we've been looking at the property of toughness, um, which is a very important property for a material to have. It's, uh, it's very important. Uh, we exploit this a lot in uh, everyday life, of course. Uh, we like things to be tough. Metals have this property of toughness. Composites have this property of toughness. Wood has this property of toughness. But under certain circumstances, that property can disappear. Uh, and that's when we end up in a lot of trouble. Um, so if we were under certain circumstances with wood, why do we get brittle failure rather than this property of toughness? Why is wood brittle sometimes? Because we always assume that it's going to be tough under all circumstances. And that can lead to quite serious failures. There's a number of reasons why wood might lose the property of toughness. One of them is, if wood dries out, it no longer behaves as a tough material, it behaves as a brittle material. So the property of having um, water inside the cell wall of wood helps to give it this property of toughness. And to understand why that is, we have to understand a little bit about composites because wood itself is a composite material. Uh, and it's formed up of a reinforcement, if you remember back to a previous lecture, all composites have elements like reinforcements, in which case that's the cellulose microfibrils. And it has a matrix, and that matrix is the lignin. And then we have some sort of what's called in composite parlance, an interfacial coupling agent. And that is the hemicelluloses. And that's very lucky. I've gone off shot. That's very lucky. <laughs> it fits on the board. 